the first airplane I used to work on. Mm -hmm. Casey went refueler. It's a refueler? Yeah, if you look at the tail, mm -hmm. you, you see that um, right there? That's uh -huh. a boom. That's to uh, transfer fuel. Of course, you probably know the B-52. Yes. I don't know all of these airplanes. You gotta miss how they refueled in the air. They, they, they've repainted some recent. Mm. This is one that they just did. It looks like a World War II plane. Now, now, now you picture. see those right there mm -hmm. on the side? Mm -hmm. Those four things? Mm -hmm. Those are rockets. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That's, uh, that's to assist it uh, when it's a heavy load mm -hmm. to uh, take off. Not all the airplanes have that. Not, not all these C-130s have that. Ah, okay. Those are Jado rockets. They, they repainted this one, mm -hmm. Jason. This one here, they call the Bone, mm -hmm. the B-1. Ah, oh, this is the B-1. The B-1. It's a bummer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this th this one here, they just repainted also. This is that full size. Mm -hmm. And this one, this one. That's an F-4. They used it a lot during the Vietnam War. The ones with these orange tails mm -hmm. are special because they were test. They, they did a lot of um, engineering um, projects with them, testing mm -hmm. and all that. We're going to see some planes today with the Hill Aerospace Museum, guys. One time experience. That beast over there is my favorite. because of its orange tail. <laughs> it's so cool that we have, to, it's so cool that we get this trip, a little trip to the Air Force Museum. And we have a special tour guide. And that's only for us, because it's not paid to tour everyone around. It's just us because we're family. <laughs> Fortunately, for us. I always brought his plane back every mission he went on. He flew bombers, kind of bomber. And every mission he went on, it bringing all of his crew back. Wow! Everybody wanted to get aside to his crew. <laughs> he took a little. On the other side, you'll see a little uh, hole in his jacket where a piece of flak comes in his plane and turns his jacket. Hard to see, but you can see a little terror there. Yeah. This one here. Torn for it. They're a good guy, huh? He's saying, he said that this lieutenant always try to make sure that he brings his whole crew with him even if they're left behind he would go back for them bring them back home mm -hmm. yeah, he's like a hero real hero and, uh, most of that training is yellow and blue and hanging up there two later my plane was one of probably one of the most uh, used they use more of those for fighter planes or, or trainer planes than they did in it. There's two or three other models they use too. Yes, yeah. And the one they dropped in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. This one? At this same size. The same size. Wow. Let me take a picture of you. 
MK6 atomic bomb dropped in Nagasaki. So it, it, even though it uh, it was a bomber, it was it, was, it worked pretty good as a fighter. And mm -hmm. now our newest one, the F-35, it's named the Lightning II. The Lightning this one, II. This one is the modeled the after Lightning. this. This is the original. The original. Wow. But out of uh, so it's a bomber uh, and a fighter it's plane. Also as well. made in yes. There's a, there's a few of them. So now, but yeah, I, I wanted to show you this one here. This is a special plane too. Mm. Electric propellers. But the twin-tailed devil. To take off, it needed to be as light as it could. To take off from an aircraft carrier, it had never been done before. So they didn't know if they were going to make it or not. So they had to make these engines faster and the plane lighter. So all the guns. But it carries a bomb. Yeah, they still each carried one bomb, I think. Yeah, it was kind of that's kind of a cool story. Very important airplane. They were in the top of my hand fiber planes. Uh, there might be one. Are you, are you wanting to see the fighter planes? Because there's a whole different, the, the, the next building is all fighter planes. Uh -huh, so wow. these are old bombers. Well, this is, uh, this is mostly older ones. I mean, there's an F-16 there. Combustor. Uh-huh. Okay. That's why I like to talk to a lot of people. I, I get to ask some people if they got questions. Do you know anything about turbojets? Please comment below. I know nothing about it. This guy here is an expert. So, talking about this turbojet, it's huge. So, which one is your favorite? This one? Just a little. We're gonna have to shoot you when you get done. Yeah. This one is Sikorsky. This pipe plane is the fastest. What is this? Sikorsky. Sikorsky. What is it? Sikorsky helicopter. I'm crappy. It's a helicopter. It's a helicopter. So you know those scenes in a movie where they're sending fighter planes with a couple of Marines Air Force on a war? This is it. The earlier I was asking if that was real. Like uh, education, is it cool for aircrafts and fighter planes or whatever, Air Force? And I think it's really a school. Or sometimes they hold seminars in here because there's like a stage with a podium and the audience <laughs> seats. You know, after they quit flying them, they, they use them for practice. Shooting. Big, big missile. Wow. It's a McDonnell Douglas Air 2A Genie. Those are genies. Fighters will go out and intercept them. We have a lot of pictures of that. That was during uh, the Cold War. Oh, they do that now, to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still do that. They just they just do it to um, press their luck. The Doolittle Raiders was the name. Very important mission. It, it, I mean, if you looked that up, there's been many movies and, and stuff. But the, there was uh, 16, right? 16 of them. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is the book that told that story of April 18, right. 1942. Now, crazy thing about the Doolittle uh, Raiders was they got together and met every year. There, there was a bottle of uh, cognac that mm -hmm. they bought, and they said, whenever there's only two of us left, then they'll open it up and drink it in remembrance of all of the oh. others. They would get together every year. You know, some, some people would die throughout. And I think uh, two years ago, there was only two of them. Then they opened it. They did. It might be all services. It says uh, Utah's. It's fallen, yeah. Utah's fallen. Those are gone. 
So those are so those are real people's names. Yeah. This is Andrews, Daniel, Francis, Vietnam War. Ah, oh, so it has the assignments as well. I can't even read that. Huh? Brown, is this? Oh. I can't read it. Yeah, most of them are not readable anymore. I come in here and I keep looking for the keys and they won't, they hit them somewhere. <laughs> I keep thinking one of these days I'm going to find the keys and I'm going to take one of these. There you go. That would be nice. Yes, that would be fun. Before they had the heater This pie plane. It says remove this one before you fly it. Into uh, which one is Germany. it? So there was uh, so so that beauty right there. The U.S. Air Force made a uh, air bridge, and they used these kind of airplanes here to go this? up and over. So they wow. delivered food into Germany, Berlin. Berlin. These are the actual planes. There was one pilot that really stood out, and he uh, he seen that there was a bunch of children. Beautiful there, beasts. And he uh, tied candy bars to little parachutes, and he would go over them, and he'd throw yep. these candy bars out, and they would just fall to the ground for the little kids. Mm -hmm. So they got they, they nicknamed him the Candy Bomber. The Candy Bomber. <laughs> well, the Candy Bomber. He lives here in Utah. Oh. He lives, he lives on the way to Salt Lake. A little town called Bountiful. Um, he's, he's getting pretty old though. Over in, um, over in Qatar, they have these here. And I was the base engine manager. So the engines for this, I used to uh, ship them and receive them. And, uh, and, and keep uh, track of them and, and all that. Send them away for repairs. Or, These have been a really good tool in the war of uh, yeah, the war on terrorism. Yeah? You wanna go? Okay, I'll take a picture of him. <laughs> okay, one, two. Okay. Very good? Yeah. Is this is a uh, No. You said No, no, that's uh, that's only the nose art. Seven wishes. You see the genie in the bottle? Yeah, they just uh, put uh, nose art on, on some of those. Um, not to say that we don't still use some props because the C-130, we still use props on them. And uh, it, it's because of the runways. Mm. Now the, the C-130s, you can land on short runway and it doesn't have to be concrete, it could be dirt. Ah, okay. You know, uh, so some... you don't use that anymore. That, <laughs> that's an old one <laughs> from the first yeah, world. That, that, that one kind of almost looks like a trainer. <laughs> mm. like an old one. But, but this one here, I, I, I kind of wanted to show you because, uh, like I said, the, uh, the candy bomber used the same time. Oh. Like I said it doesn't. It doesn't look like. It doesn't look like a lot. Very good story. Like I said, he's from Utah. I'm gonna make sure he. And, uh, well, you don't see too many of them with these rockets on there. So if you take a picture of that, you probably won't have to see it again. Yeah, I'll take a picture of both of you. I want to see the full body. <laughs> okay. One, two. Almost looks like a dolphin. Rockets in there too? Oh, yeah. You get the whole thing. I'll get one more. Okay, cool. No, no, those are actually, uh... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more inside. This is just... The actual rocket. Yeah, I just wanted to really see 
show you this one, or well, maybe a little bit of that one. That bomber one over there, where that. That one right there is kind of interesting too. Can you see the uh, twin tail? Yeah. Uh, So this is the end of this vlog and to those of you who've been watching my vlog, thank you all so much and to those who haven't yet, you can do that now. Thank you for subscribing!